You're watching Capital View, Sunday morning talk focused on the political scene in Arkansas. Welcome to the program. Joining me now, Arkansas Lieutenant Governor Leslie Rutledge. She's a former attorney general. She served in office over the past decade with Mark Lowry in some different capacities. Welcome. Good to see you as good always. Good to see you, Roby. Um, tell me a little bit about um, Treasurer Mark Lowry. He obviously passed away this past week, as we've mentioned. How did you guys first meet? Do you remember? Well, you know, our state has certainly been grieving this past week, the loss of an incredible leader. Mark uh, served in so many capacities over the last decade that I know that, that we've talked about in, in recent days. Um, I had the pleasure of knowing Mark for you know really a long time, not only as the state treasurer these past six months, but he was my state representative in Maumelle. Uh, he had been in our home a number of times. And what I can say about Mark as a state representative and even before uh, and all the different roles he held is that he was always just so pleasant yeah. to be around. I never, you know, so many times, Roby, and, and politics, people talk about how visceral politics can be and that people don't enjoy one another's company. But what I will say about Mark Lowry is that he was always pleasant to be around. Even when we were dealing with issues such as his voter ID bill and having to uh, defend it in court, he, he never got combative. He was just always just very congenial, I think is the word that you used earlier. Yeah. Um, so tell me what it was like just kind of working on that legislation with him there. I mean, were these always kind of his ideas that um, did he seek you out for advice before he would do things? Kind of what was that working relationship it, like? It was great, actually. Uh, when I was attorney general uh, and Mark was putting through that legislation in 2017, uh, my team worked very closely with him on it because we knew it was going to be challenged. Uh, that. Uh, law has been upheld, voter ID has been in Arkansas. Mark was also known for all of his homeschool, right. uh, being a champion of education. Uh, Governor Hutchinson tapped him on a number of occasions for education bills. I know the Family Council has put out uh, statements uh, after Mark's passing about all of the bills that he carried with regard to homeschool to make sure homeschool students had the same opportunities to participate in, in sports, for example. The old Tim Tebow law. Yes, right? I yeah, mean, right. yeah, but those are legacies that even though uh, his elected state uh, office was a very short time, sadly, uh, but his time in the legislature, he has an incredible legacy that I hope his family, his, his daughter, his son, and those grandbabies can look back on over the years and be so proud of him. Yeah, he did a lot in insurance and commerce too, and he chaired a couple of committees, and I think people forget that too. Speakers tapped him uh, quite a bit, whether it was Jeremy Gillum or Speaker Shepard there, were looked to him for some leadership on some they of those did, things. They did, absolutely, and he uh, had been a lobbyist for uh, financial advisors. That's right. he, he taught at UCA and I believe Henderson State. And so just really a legacy. And when we look back at people's lives, I think that's what's important is to the influence, the good influence that they had on so many people. Yeah, and of course he got to start like so many Republicans these days with then Lieutenant Governor Mike Huckabee. You started in the uh, Mike Huckabee administration as well. I yeah. did, and so uh, Mark had been uh, then Lieutenant Governor Mike Huckabee's uh, chief of staff. Right. Um, I was counsel in Mike Huckabee's gubernatorial office. Um, however, my start in politics was my dad. So I, uh, I started, my first campaign was when I was two. And so I, I have to <laughs> remind people that yes, uh, go, former Governor Huckabee gave me the opportunity to be his counsel uh, in 2004, but my dad is the reason why I'm a Republican and why I was always engaged in public service. He yeah, and my what mother. What did you do as a two year old in uh, campaigning? Were you just handing out candy? You look you amazing in photographs, is what candy. you do. <laughs> so that's what, you look like a great two year old in photographs. You're a baby that gets kissed, is what you're saying. So, yes, yeah. yes, right. absolutely. But yeah, Mark is going to be missed, Roby. That's what, you know, his. His legacy and working hard for people, one thing that my team and I have talked about these last few days and have made sure that we've talked about with uh, his staff is how hard he worked on the campaign trail and up at the Capitol working for people is that uh, he was always out and about in this last election cycle in 22. Mark was at every single event my team attended that I attended and that speaks volumes. I mean, he, uh, even though we're a dark red Republican state, he didn't take that for granted in the fall of 2022. He was working hard every single day. I remember uh, the last official event where I had the opportunity to, to speak with Mark and that was at the 4-H uh, day 
at the Capitol. And so that's why I'm going to wear my 4-H green today right. is because that's uh, my last wonderful memory of Mark Lowry was spending time with him at that. All right, one other memory I want you to share. I understand that he was occasionally the door greeter at your Christmas parties <laughs> at your personal residence there. So you guys lived in Maumel together, yes, like I you both, said. Yes, so. Mark and I have uh, lived in Maumel for several years. He's uh, been there longer than I have, but uh, we fondly remember it seems like he was almost the first one every single year at the Christmas party and so we would say well you can help us greet people as they come in and he knew so many people uh, from Mall Mel and was very well thought of and that's why he'd been elected so many times as a state representative in Mall Mel and I believe why he was able to be successful in uh, his primary and general election for state treasurer. Well um, I agree I always had a great um, congenial relationship with him even on those combative issues he was always willing to step up to the plate and you know be interviewed and talk through you know other people's points of view and do it with a smile on his face never uh, you know a mean kind of um, you know vindictive or vindictive kind of personality that was just not him at all so um, all right well our condolences go out to his family, his friends, the staff at the treasurer's office. Um, I know that there's been a lot of stuff going on this past week to commemorate him. Um, and I'm sure that there will be something else that will be put in place for his remembrance. You, you agree with that? Absolutely, I think there should be. Uh, he has served our state well. He will be missed by so many. And I just, again, he's left an incredible legacy and to his children and his grandchildren, please know that the state of Arkansas has been blessed by the service of Mark Lowry. All right, Lieutenant Governor Leslie Rutledge, always good to visit with you. Thank you, Roby. Thank you for being here. You bet. We're back with more right after this.